Before I met PB, I had had depressions. Ah, I just wanted to jump off a bridge. They were so frequent. Awful, awful. Soon after I met him, I was driving home, and I knew I was heading for that horrible place, and you're bracing yourself. And I fell in. But I fell into this radiant, brilliant light and love, a love I'd never known. And that was the end of those depressions. To think that someone could do this, I hadn't had any training, read any books, I had no idea that a life could be altered in this way. It put me on a path to perfect myself so that I could help others. I think he changed my entire life and being in those few paltry minutes of earth time. I don't think I've ever been the same. And he showed me something I wouldn't have believed possible. The main impression I had of him when I walked in was that he was just a person. He didn't look extraordinary. He was so quiet and gentle, another person who had broken through to the godlike quality that we all have, the radiant soul that we all are, the power of it, the finding that in that little package, little body, like that just just overwhelming with all that power coming through him basking in that gentle love that he had it's so easy to say someone changed your life but he changed everything and me you can't put it into words pb and i had lots of discussions on the history of occultism in the west he told me that he had to give up, as a young man, his ability with occult phenomena. It was a thing that would lead to trouble. He said that's how he entered this path, but he had to give it up in order to make progress, and that it's a good thing not to pursue it or talk about it. There were occult events that happened in his presence, but I'm taking his advice. This is not where the emphasis should be put. PB was, as he put it, a student of philosophy. Every moment with PB was wholly extraordinary, or just ordinary. To the sage, every moment unfolds reality. Every detail, every sense perception, every thought, Every detail unfolding the reality instead of hiding it, which it seems to do for most of us. And that's what it was like. It was all important, every experience, whether it was going to an art gallery or having coffee. There weren't bells and whistles things, but it was like, oh, life unfolds beautifully, just in the now, ordinarily extraordinary. One time, PB got strong with us, not angry, because someone had suggested that they could get away with not paying for something that he perceived as an unfair charge. PB said that if you want truth, then you must be truthful in every detail of your life, and there's no compromise. He was very strong about it. Truth is what is important. I've seen the consequences of not following that tremendous teaching, and they are very strong. When PB came to Columbus, he stayed with some students. One person had come down with an illness, and she became bedridden, and she was quite bitter about it. Why me? PB told her that she was learning a tremendous soul lesson from this. He told her that she was learning surrender, and if she could get that, it was worth the whole thing. The next time I was there, she was in a room, and it was so joyous and light-filled. And for the next three years, well, she did it. She obviously did it. She totally surrendered, 
and just joy came through. The whole thing was fabulous. She would never have chosen that illness, but in fact, having that one tremendous lesson was worth everything. One time, I was helping PB shave. That worked out okay. Maybe he got a little nick or something. And he was talking about how a sage feels pain. And yes, be careful. And he said, I have to shave PB, talking about himself in the third person. And then he continued, yes, I do feel PB's pain. I could sense that he was in this envelope of silence. That was my first intuition that this was what self-realization was about. At one point, I wondered if PB has his original teeth or does he have false teeth? And suddenly, PB looked at me and bared his teeth. I was just brought into complete light. I'd never been there before. In the space I was in, there was nothing, but I didn't understand exactly what it was. It was definitely a transmission, absolutely, and a gift. It was through that gift that I was definitely in a witness position, but deeper than that. I was in a different place, closer to my heart. It was a marvelous transport. Then my life became totally different, and it was transformed, because I became mindful. It's a different life now, a thoughtful life. Now it's easy to go into meditation. It's always immediate. Thank you.